Hi friends, welcome to Tutor's Funny Channel. Today I am going to teach simple uh, point of sale system using Laravel 8. Okay, this is a simple point of sale system, Laravel 8. I haven't done any database, I haven't connected any database yet. Uh, let's show the demo. Okay, I will reset it, all the stuff. Okay, this is the, th these are the items available. This, uh, this project I already done in the core PHP. Uh, so I, I decided to uh, modify in Laravel so that I have done in Laravel. So here, if you are click on this item, it coming here, you can specify the quantity, click add here. It will be added successfully. If you add, add vanilla, you can change here, uh, quantity as three, click. If you click out, it will be go. It will be changed here, one, click add, right. You will be able to add the items here. These are the items you are available, uh, added here. Uh, here. Uh, chocolate, vanilla, these are the ice cream bravery. This is the, your final total. Oh, if you want to delete the items from the list, click delete button, item delete. At the same time, your amount also reduced. Okay, very simple. After the under sales, if you click reset, the, all the form will be resetted, right? So how to do this program step by step in Laravel? So first we have to create the Laravel project, okay? So here in order to write Laravel, code i have used visual code editor vs code you, uh, you 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 must download vs code editor when you are writing laravel uh, if you like you can use it in php strom as well uh, i recommend that vs code is very best editor for writing laravel okay now i am going to install the laravel first so first la write it run cmd here I'm going to create the Laravel project. So I'm going to create in F drive. So go to the F drive. Here CD. I have installed XAMPP server in my F drive. So inside the uh, F drive, inside the XAMPP server, XAMPP, inside the XAMPP server, they have the folder called htdocs. In, inside the htdoc, I'm going to create the project. So press enter key. Now here I'm going to create the project. Now here, first we have to write here, uh, composer, create, create project, here we have to write, preferred, FIFA, okay, here out right, Laravel, slash Laravel, okay, we have to specify the project name. I am going to create the project name as IcePos. This is my project name I have created. Press enter key. Now your project is uh, it takes some time to install your project in the uh, htdoc directory. Okay, here it will be take some time to install your project. You have to wait until the installation completed. Install the project successfully. Now let's go to the, let's open the VS code. I already opened. Now I'm going to load the project. So file, open folder. My folder is reside on XAMPP server, inside the XAMPP server, XAMPP, HEDOC, this is, this is a HEDOC, uh, this is my project, I suppose, click on this folder, open, select folder, right, it open it successfully, here, this is the folder, right, go to the terminal, new, right, now here we have to run the PHP file, okay, so we have right here, PHP, sorry, Click on this one, PHP, Artisan, Artisan, so, you right, present here, it is running successfully, you can check it here, just copy this one, go here, control V to paste here, press enter key, it will be running successfully your PHP file, right. Now first what I am going to do is here, I am going to create the design first, okay, so first what I am going to do see here, first go to the, this is your fold structure of the Laravel application. 
so here first I am going to create a view file first ok it's very easy stuff you have to create the view file so how to create the view file so here go to the resources inside the resources folder you have a view files right so this is the welcome blade dot php this is the welcome dot php page ok but how to call it the view will be called into the controller control will be get and view the page here the control is here http controller here controller here this is a controller which will be shown the page ok now what I am going to do is here I am going to create the new view page click on the view page here right click new file so you have to write index dot blade dot php so you you must write this blade ok otherwise the laravel is made some professional purpose the blade ok this one should be very useful ok is uh, index dot blade dot php this is how you have to write ok so here they will be written the uh, sample here welcome dot blade dot php the same thing you have to write index dot blade dot php this is how you have to write ok now first I am going to design the page here and I have already done this design so I no need to uh, design this from the beginning so I just copy this design right. this how to design all the stuff I have attached the uh, video below in core php you must go and check that uh, page how to design this particular page I know I no need to create again by again because I already done in pure php how to design this one so here this one this is all the things are inside the attack I have copied from the bootstrap website this all the styles ok so if you are don't know how to copy this one you just go to the google it type bootstrap present key click on this one get started here you have copy CSS file copy and paste it over here after the go back here paste the JavaScript also here. ok click on this one you have to paste the JavaScript below this is how I paste it here inside that right? after that we have to write the nav tag to create the heading after this is the simple style I have used to create the post simple post system I have created the simple post ok this is the JavaScript ok handled by the JavaScript right so first I have to show the page ok index of blade.php I have designed successfully first what I am going to do is here after that I am going to create the images folder I have images so these are the images I have created these images I have put into here so images how to put the images so inside the resources folder I have created the new folder called images this images I am getting from the uh, this page this is my uh, project ok I suppose you have write this get the image public image these are the images I have to copy this one what are the images you have you just copy them and put into the relevant folder I have put into this folder this is the folder I have put it image public ok this is a public folder so for a public I first post save if you save it then only the folder will be there this is a project public right now I am going to create the folder images present the key this is all the images what you are copying you are put it here ok then only this will be applicable ok here the same images are there what happened So refresh it, refresh the explorer, then only it will be applicable. Why was separate? Sorry, not resources folder, public folder. Sorry, public folder I have put into all the images. Sorry, you no need to create the folder in resources folder. Public folder you have to create the image, right? Public, sorry. Uh, select the public folder, you have to create the folder called images and you have to put in the images ok where you install the laravel ok here this is the laravel installation directory go to the public folder inside the public folder you have to create the 
folder for images inside the images folder you have put in the images these are the images i have okay right this is the thing you have to write okay now after that how to call the images very simple you have to write images inside the image there are many people are stuck on this one asset this is the keyword asset your your directory images inside the images your file name ice cream dot uh, j j uh, jpg this is the extension of the uh, images file after the second image should be mango mix fruit vanilla this uh, likewise i have to create it below these are the images i have called it here to display the images into the page very simple way okay after that when you are click on the particular images what happen is i have written the as a javascript model uh, jquery model here to toggle model if you click on this one it will go to the here this one here right i have set it here as well okay set it here uh, you have to create the uh, total price all the stuff i have created this is image click click by id here if you are click on the here this one should be there this all the stuff uh, total calculate part okay this is the thing here we, we have discussed this all the stuff in my core uh, php uh, i have attached the video below you must watch the calculation part right i no need to uh, do the things again by again okay i have put in the video link below we have to uh, learn okay this all the stuff i have explained already okay this is the thing we have right okay very things okay these are the images folder how to call the images folder only i have to explain in this tutorial right this how we are called right if i explain all the stuff it take too much of time to complete the video you are so boring so that i have already done this project i attach the video below in core php you can uh, learn right now what i am going to say after that i have to this design i have to view into the page so how to view in the page go to the app folder here i have to create the controller so how to create the controller go to the new here we have to write a controller creation view, view is a we have created successfully now i am going to go to create a controller so php artisan uh, artisan make you have to write the make keyword in order to create the controller so you have to write controller you have to provide the name of the controller you have to write i suppose it's a controller name i have to give press enter key your controller has been created successfully if you get this message go to the http this is your app folder inside the folder you have a folder called http inside the http there will be the folder called controller you have to expand them your i suppose controller has been created successfully this is a simple controller i have created very simple one you have to create it okay very simple code we have to use to create the controller now here i am going to create the action method so we have to write public so return the view okay public function here you have to write index this action method i have to write here we have to write return which we i am going to return this index okay this only okay get rid of the blade only index so you have to write review uh, uh here we have to write review uh review return view sorry return view here we write here simply index that's it that is the thing you have to write index you will be able to view the page very simple index the page you have to write okay this is the thing you have to write so simply you have to write just save all save all this one you have save all now you have to write here uh, this is the thing you have to write now you have to go to the uh, route file route you have to call the this file okay go to this route inside the route we have a web.php here we have to write uh, here when the page is open it goes to the welcome page so here instead of welcome we have to write here index i have written index index me it will be returning to the your index page index page it will be returned it's a route file okay it's go to the return file you have to save all go here it will be the fine it will be working fine 
now it's working with this all the images are coming successfully now let's run and check it's working one it's working fine i'm going to add another quantity two it's working fine here it's working fine but this how we have to create a simple uh, inventory management system in laravel without connecting the database uh, i'm going to explain another good example in my upcoming tutorial of inventory in laravel thank you for watching if you like my channel please subscribe me like me thank you for watching